What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. And you thought the death of Hannah was heartbreaking. Don't get us wrong. It's really sad to see a teenage girl being sexually assaulted, bullied, and even mocked by her friends. But these next few scenes might even take the cake when it comes to heartbreaking moments. So join us today as we uncover the 13 heartbreaking moments and 13 reasons why. You don't talk. You don't get to say anything. This is your fucking fault, Hannah. Number 13. The truth about Jeff. When I never stood next to Hannah, you always tried to. <laughs> Jeff was the guy that always helped out Clay. They were best friends. He was one of those guys that we couldn't believe was no longer with us and neither could Clay. Feeling all those emotions at once, he probably remembered that the truth will set you free. That's why Clay went to talk to Jeff's parents and come clean about the whole situation. He told his parents that he didn't think Jeff was drunk when the accident happened. He ran to help him, but it was too late. He said the stop sign had been removed before the crash happened, so there's no way he could have known. Number 12, listening to the tape. It wasn't you. It was me. And everything that's happened to me. Who knew the phrase, it wasn't you, it was me, could be so powerful? But that's exactly what Hannah said in the tape destined to Clay. Even though she felt like Clay's name shouldn't be in her tapes, she felt like she had to talk to him. And you'd think that she wanted to end up with the guy that treated her like a princess. But the truth is, she felt like she would only ruin his life. She didn't want to burden him with all the problems of her life. Therefore, she left this world and left the goodbye message in the tapes. All of the emotions of the scene, coupled with the anger that Clay feels at the end, makes this moment that much harder to watch. Number 11, Jessica Davis shares the pain. Dad, I need to tell you. We know that Bryce was the guy that we can't stand on the show. All of the heinous crimes he committed establish him as the real monster in the eyes of his classmates. And you'd think that he stopped after the first victim, but no. He continued the raping spree and Jessica Davis was the next on the list. And when he sends her a text, the girl is crushed. She doesn't feel like herself anymore. That's why her father immediately sensed that something was wrong with his daughter. When he asked her about it, she couldn't keep it in anymore and she broke down in tears as she talked about the horrendous rape that occurred. And the situation made us feel like we were experiencing that pain along with her. YouTube usually shares videos that receive many likes. As a sign of respect towards all the rape victims and all the children who took their lives, spread the powerful message of Hannah. Share this video, click that thumbs up, don't let her story die out. Number 10. Clay's guilt trip. And I was an asshole, and I'm sorry, and I can never make it right. This is the moment we finally got to see Clay talking to Hannah. The poor boy was in tears. He finally mustered up the courage to admit to her that he loves her, to admit that he is never going to leave her, and to promise her that he will always be by her side, through thick and thin. But then, at that very moment, Hannah turns to him and with that cold-blooded stare asked him, Why didn't you say this while I was alive? We clearly knew that this was all inside his head, but the way his subconscious tortured him tells us just how much the guy loved her. He couldn't spend a moment without her and when the camera shows the clay sulking on top of a cliff, we know all of these feelings are real. Number 9. Bryce listens to the tape. It's Hannah. Hannah Baker. We know, we know, he's the horrific monster whose actions have caused a girl to take her life. But we just wanted to show you this scene before we got to bash him in the following pics. When Hannah talks about the man that raped her, the person that caused all of the pain and problems in her life, Bryce actually shows a bit of emotion and he chokes up. He even went so far as to say that maybe it should have been him. But we all know that's just him saying what seems best at the moment. He hasn't changed. Not one bit. Number 8. Mr. Porter's in action. And you could have stopped it. 
And I could have. We all need to help a person that has negative talks. Depressed, alone, hurt. All of those things lead to the destruction of the self, regardless of the consequences. School counselors are there for a reason. It's their job to talk to the students and at least try to help the students that have suicidal thoughts. Clay confronts him about his inactions, but he doesn't do it to put the blame on him. It's sort of like an act of compassion. Clay too felt like he was helpless and he points it out. Many people could have done something to prevent Hannah from dying, but no one did. Mr. Porter was just one of them. And the fact that he didn't do anything shows us just how important it is to listen carefully to what the students have to say. It could be the difference between life and death. Number 7. Clay's Speech Hannah Baker came into my life at the end of one summer like a star that fell to earth. We all know how much Clay loved Hannah. His cowardice prevented him to tell her his true feelings. But when we see him talking at her funeral... It just tears us up inside. Here's a guy that loved her to what other guys would call infinity and beyond, but still lost her. When he gets up on the podium, he's extremely vocal about her true feeling. He continuously says how much he loved her, but when we saw the ghost of Hannah sit on the bench to listen to his speech, uh, a little part of us just died inside. Number 6. The Kiss That Could Have Been When Clay musters up the courage to finally talk to Hannah during the dance at Liberty High, the band turns it down a couple notches and the slow music hits the scene. That's when we got to see Hannah and Clay with their hands on the waist, slow dancing to the rhythm of their eyes. While the two were talking, complimenting each other and laughing, they began to get closer and closer until finally, one of Hannah's friends becomes so drunk that she has to go and take care of her leaving Clay thinking about the kiss that could have been. Number 5. After the Hill She walks up to the door, she leaves this box, and goes. Tony and Clay share a very intimate moment after they manage to climb that giant boulder. Sitting on top of the rock, Tony opens up about the night he received the tapes. Hannah rang his doorbell, but he didn't answer. He knew she was drama, so he didn't want to deal with her. When she finally walked outside 45 minutes later, he discovered the tapes. He began listening to them and once he heard about what she planned on doing, he rushed to Hannah's house. Unfortunately, he was too late. Her body was in a bag and thrown inside the ambulance like a lifeless plank of wood. Number 4. Mr. Porter Confesses You're going to get through this. I'm going to help you. When we see Hannah at the school counselor's office again, we think to ourselves, here's the guy that's going to save her. He gave everything he had to protect this innocent girl. But then again, it was just Mr. Porter's imagination. He begins sulking like a little baby in front of everyone and deeply apologized to Hannah's mother because he couldn't protect her daughter. Number three, Bryce and Hannah. Did you just... Oh, no, I didn't mean, I didn't If you want to be revolted and disgusted at the same time, just keep watching. We told you that calling Bryce a pig would be a compliment. This insensitive maniac is so full of himself that he dares touch Hannah's butt right there in front of everyone at the register. It is the scene that marks the beginning of the tragic end. The scene that Hannah felt violated for the first time, but it wasn't going to be the only one. Number two. The actual rape. Uh, here, why don't I just show you myself? It's like a maze in there, you know? <laughs> yeah. While everyone's at Bryce's party, Hannah's hesitant to go in the jacuzzi. But when she does, everyone leaves and she there, alone with what seems to be a demonically driven Bryce. He forced himself onto her, all while overpowering her just as she said she wanted to leave the party. Man, if this doesn't get your blood boiling, we don't know what will. It's incredibly insulting and disgusting at the same time. This scene holds testament to what length Bryce will go to in order to get his way. Number 1. Hannah's Death She left the tapes, locked herself in the bathroom, 
filled the bathtub and slit her wrists. This usually happens when a person is pushed beyond the breaking point, when they feel like there's no escape out of the hell they're in, and the only solution to their problems is death itself. It gets even worse as her parents find out. You can just see the look of horror on her mother's face when she walks in the bathroom. She doesn't want to believe her little Hannah is actually dead. She screams at the top of her lungs and her father rushes to help them, but doesn't even know what to do. They call the ambulance, but it's too late. Hannah's suffering has ended, and the one of her parent and friends has just begun. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, which one of these moments actually broke your heart? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.